Network News, take one. Freighters traveling through shark and pirate infested waters in the Indian Ocean have hired juggernaut consultant Ernst & Young to do a study to see if it makes sense to either pay $5 million in ransom every six months or hired armed guards to shoot the rat bastards. <laughs> well, I say, there's a big freighter out there. You see the size of that? It's, surely it's, it's got to have something good on it, you know? I, I'm, I don't have a job. I need some money. Do you have any money? I don't have much money. No, I don't. I, maybe we should. Uh, what do you say? We hijack a freighter. Yeah. Let's not tell anybody either. So we, no, no, promise you won't tell anybody. No, no, that's not, we won't tell anybody. So, all right, well, let, let's get our stuff together then. We got the freighter out there. Let's haul ass and get some. So what do we need? Well, let's see, we need a boat. Have you got a boat? I've got a boat. I've got a boat. Have you got a gun? We need, the gu we need something for intimidation, don't we? We've, we've read Randall's seminars, so you need something for intimidation and authority. So I've got a gun. I'll bring the bullets with me. And we certainly need get your satchel, too. Get your satchel out of your home. Satchel? What do I need a satchel? To put the money in. We're going to ransom. We need something to put the money in, don't we? Yes, we need the money. All right, I'll bring my satchel. It's got a little strap. It's very snappy. And so, 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 all right, so get the boat, get the boat. Oh, get some Gatorade, too. Gatorade? What? It's hot in the ocean. You've been out there. We're, we're boiling here and we're living in the beach, you know? It's, it's, we're going to be out there a while. You don't just negotiate. It's like, give me your money. I'm going to $5 million. Hey, catch it in the satchel. No, it doesn't happen that way. So get the money, so get the satchel, get the Gatorade. I don't have any Gatorade. Well, go rob the 7-Eleven then. We're pirates. Think pirates. Think big. All right. So we get, so get in the boat. So they get in the boat. So they get in the boat and they fire it up. Fuck their boat on it. And, and as, they're, as they're going and they're saying, okay, we need to, how are we going to, uh, how are we going to get up this boat? You know, this is a pretty high boat. Well, we're going to have to, did you bring the rope? Yes, I've got some rope. This isn't my first rodeo, you know? So I've got the rope, yes. Well, we'll shimmy up the rope, and then we'll, we'll seize the vessel. They don't have many guys out there. It's all computerized on that. I've read the papers. So all right, so when we get there, now how are we going to get up the boat? Well, we need a ploy, right? We need a, we need a ploy. Well, certainly they saw us coming with the smoke billowing from your boat. So. We'll tell them we lost. Yes, yes. We lost and there was fog. Yes. We'll tell them we lost and we need some directions. All right, we go. So they pull up on the boat and here they come. And boom, they bump into the edge of the boat and they anchor their boat and they tie it off a little bit. And then one of them stands up and he says, Oh, hi. Uh, this is a big boat. It's, it's really up there. It's got to be hundreds of feet. I don't think I bought enough rope to get up there. I don't think I can even throw it. It's a bit wobbly. Uh, anyway, ahoy up there. Ahoy. Don't say ahoy. They'll know we're pirates. It's so cliche, ahoy. Oh, you've seen too many Jack Sparrow DVDs. Uh, well, what should I say? How you doing? Howdy. Howdy, anybody home? Hey, how you doing? How you doing? Hey, unlock the door, okay? What am I saying? Unlock the door. What do you want me to say? I'm the pirate. Hello? Anybody home? Anybody home? I don't think there's anybody home. And all of a sudden, the captain comes over the railing. Hello. Captain's British, too. <laughs> Hello. What do you want? What do you want? Is that your boat? Don't scrape my vessel. I say, oh, I say, oh, um, we're here to hi we're here to hijack. Don't say hijack. They'll know we're pirates, for goodness sake. I'm sorry, I meant hijack. Jack, is that you? I detect a British accent. Did I meet you at the Trevor's pub at that last pub call? No, I think you've got the wrong person. What is it that you want? We're very busy up here. Oh, thank you. Sorry. Didn't, we, we seem to be lost. We <laughs> it's a tremendous fog this morning and everything, you know. We, we, we hit the fog and uh, we're lost. We're trying to get to Madagascar, of all places. Dreadful place. But we're trying to get to Madagascar. We lost a way. And what we'd like to do is just come up and uh, take a look at your map. And uh, I need to use the toilet, too, number two. And I've been on this boat for a long time. Like, Don't say toilet. They'll know we're pirates. It's a vessel. We're pirates. Say it. head. It's a head on a vessel. I'm sorry. I'm, I, what I meant to say, I didn't mean hijack as in, like, hijack a vessel. We're not this stupid. That's not our first rodeo. We're here to, we just want to take a look at your charts and to get a sex Our compass is broken. Then we'll be off and go with it. So uh, could you let us up there? 
And the captain looks at him and says, well, all right, I'll throw the rope down. Yes, I'll throw the rope down. So he throws the rope down. And uh, shimmy up there, and uh, you can use the toilet and uh, take a look at the maps. So he says, all right, all right, we got the okay, because our rope isn't long enough. So give me the satchel. So he gets the satchel, put the gun in it. I've got my cell phone. You've got to be able to negotiate all this stuff. So I've got your gun. You get, put the bullets in the gun. Just take a Gatorade, just in case you get thirsty up there, because you know, when was the last time you shimmied up a 200-foot rope carrying a lot of stuff? I don't know, but I think I can do it. The adrenaline's pumping quite nicely. So he starts, he gets out his satchel and everything, and he starts to climb up the rope. He starts to climb up, and he gets up about 100 feet. He gets up about 100 feet or so, and he says, oh, how much are we going to ask for the negotiation? Well, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. What do you think? Should, I don't know. I mean, a uh, million, three, uh, one, four. Go with one, three. All right, I'll go with, I'll go with one, I'll go with one point three. I'm getting all, I'm, I think I'm getting there to go. I don't even know where I'm at. Well, I was for 1.3 million. All right. So he starts shimming up the rope, and as he shims up the rope, the captain comes up, excuse me, um, I've changed my mind. <laughs> I'm sorry to do this, you know, after all that work you've done, you know, climb up, but I believe you're pirates. I think you're trying to commandeer my vehicle, and I don't think that uh, you're in the best interest of me. So I'm going to give you five seconds, and then I'm going to cut the rope, and you can fall to your death, or you can swing away from the bridge. But I guess, based on what I see, is, is when you land, you're going to go right through the bottom of your boat, and you're going to kill your fellow chap down there. So, so what do you want to do? I've got the rope. Oh, damn. Um, he's on to us. So, well, I said. Uh, the jig is up, as we say. I'm, all right, we, we are pirates. I'm getting a little tired here myself. But I am getting tired. But before you cut the rope, two questions. Uh, actually, one question primarily is, how did you know we were pirates? What gave it away? What gave it away? I'll tell you what gave it away. Two things gave it away, actually. One is, uh, how much did you expect to earn? Uh, how much were you going to ransom? How much were you going to ask for? Well, I, I, we were going to ask, what were we going to ask? Uh, 1.2. 1.2. 1.2. 1.2 million. Well, there you go. Your satchel is too small. There's no way that an a, a experienced pirate would know that you can't fit a million two in that satchel. I'll give you that. I'll give you, and you said, well, there's a second reason before you cut the rope. And he says, yes. He says, your soulmate down there, I read his Twitter this morning. <laughs> 